A suspicious boat with three AK-47 rifles and bullets was found off the Raigad coast in Maharashtra, sparking a terror scare in the state. Local police officials as well as the anti-terror squad soon reached the spot and started probing the origin of the boat. Amid the ongoing row over accommodation of Rohingyas in Delhi, Deputy Chief Minister Manish Sisodia said that he has written a letter to Union Home Minister Amit Shah, urging him to order a probe to ascertain on whose instructions the decision to shift Rohingya Muslims to EWS flats in the national capital was taken. Congress MP Rahul Gandhi slammed Prime Minister Narendra Modi for the Gujarat government's decision to release 11 rapists of riot victim Bilkis Bano saying, aren't you ashamed of such politics? He also accused the BJP of supporting Unnao and Hathras rape accused in Uttar Pradesh, Katua rape accused in Jammu and Kashmir, and now Banu's rapist in the BJP ruled state. Russian President Vladimir Putin is offering financial benefits to women who have 10 or more children in order to reverse the country's demographic crisis caused by the COVID-19 pandemic and the Russia-Ukraine war. Raj Shrivastav's health is not showing much signs of improvement. The comedian is currently admitted to Ames Hospital in Delhi post suffering a heart attack. On August 10, Raju was working out at the gym when he complained of uneasiness. The online tickets for India vs Pakistan blockbuster Asia Cup match scheduled on August 28 dried up minutes after being put on sale. Fans had been anxiously waiting to book seats for the Pakistan-India match since the Asian Cricket Council announced their ticket sales for the tournament.